Today, Dusty, Betty, and I are installing the Kuat Pivot V2 on our truck to make our Velocirax 5 bike holder way more versatile. If you remember when we unboxed this and built this Velocirax rack, it has some really cool features in it. We use the 5 bike model because there's only 5 seats in our car but they also make a three, four, five, five wide, six, and seven bike carrier. They are fantastic, they're super robust, they're really well built. To load them, I've got it loose right now so it's gonna wobble. To load them, you flip it back like this and just roll your bike in. You don't have to lift up your bike. It's really easy to load. Little kids can do it and it's super sturdy. I've got a coupon code for Velocirax in the description below if you're interested in a rack like this but there is one disadvantage to it i can't open my truck bed all the way it hits this and that's okay for most stuff but i have a drawer system in my truck and i can't open my drawers with this rack on and i especially can't do it with bikes loaded with the kuat pivot v2 we're gonna put this on and it's gonna be able to pivot and swing out of the way so we can still access everything in the truck with the bikes loaded. Kuat sent us this to test it out and do a review on it. I'm excited to try this out. Okay, now we're gonna lock it on. And then we tighten this guy and it snugs everything up. All right, now we're gonna put the toggle clamp post on. Just threads right in here. All right, now we need to attach this lever that's gonna help this open and swing away. Here's a little trick. Usually the length of the arm on a hex key helps you determine how much torque to put on it. That's why small bolts have small allens and big bolts have big allens. This is a small lever. You shouldn't be cranking on it like crazy. That's an indicator that you don't need ridiculous amounts of torque. With more leverage like this, like a big one, you need more leverage to get more torque. This isn't holding any load. This is just kind of a safety to latch it all together so it doesn't swing out with your rack on it. All right, we got it all assembled and installed. Let me show you some of the features. Nice matte black powder coating, really nice bearings in here. It's got some stops right there. Let me show you how it works. You release it here. And now it's still got a safety release. So you pull this, it lets your stuff swing out. It stops at the 90 and if you need more leverage, pull that again and you can get it 120 degrees out. You just want to make sure it doesn't interfere with your car when you do that. But I really like that automatic catch. So if the wind caught it or you were on a slope or something and it started swinging, it would catch itself. Then when you close it, you don't wanna leave that rattling. You wanna make sure you snug it down here. And now it's solid. And you can buy this as a passenger swing out or a driver's side swing out. So this can carry anything with a two inch receiver. It doesn't have to be a bike rack, but the weight limit is 250 pounds. Quite the contraption. I kind of wish the, the Velocirax was a little shorter now. There's no need for it to hang out this much. That's a, a good two and a half, three feet behind the truck and then four feet with bikes on it. Oh, that's sweet. That's Lock it into nice. place. Yes, our full extension drawers and our drawers while there are bikes on. And you could that's actually huge. like climb onto the tailgate, get stuff in there if you need to. That's a good thing. I like that. So yeah, it's gonna stick out more. I'm gonna put a little more leverage on the hitch. Not too worried about that. <laughs> When we towed the Airstream on this, the tongue weight was like 700 pounds, so this is nothing. The truck can definitely handle it. It's going to be a little bit more of a pain to park. True. But man, that opens up a lot of possibilities. 
Yeah, I, we haven't really fully been leveraging our truck when we've had the rack on, and so that is gonna be really nice. That's really cool. It makes it stick out probably another foot, so it's gonna be harder to park, it's gonna be longer. And it's actually kind of nice that we can um, open the tailgate, even if we just have to grab something or climb in, we don't have to swing it out. I'm excited to have both of these together because we got the benefits of the Velocirax loading five bikes up here without having to lift it all. And we got the benefits of the Kuat Pivot V2 where we can swing it out of the way, completely use the truck. When we're camping, it's almost like the rack and bikes are totally out of the way. We can fully use everything. We can cook on here. We can repair bikes on here. We can sleep in the truck without having to climb past a rack. Stay tuned as I review these and put some more time on them and get some opinions about it. I'll share with you what I think about the Kuat Pivot V2. If you learned something and you enjoyed this video, consider becoming a patron to support this channel. I've got lots of educational videos, reviews, and lots of fun videos riding hardtails with friends. Thanks for watching. There's a party in the mountains and you're invited.